Hi everyone, welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. I am Holly the Twister Sister here to teach you how to make balloon animals. And today we are doing a super cute little skunk for Valentine's Day. For this balloon, you're obviously going to need black and white, unless you're doing like a pink and red or white skunk. Um, but we're, I'll be using two black and white balloons. Um, I've inflated both of these about with a three to four inch tail on the end. And then you're probably going to need two more, another black and another white balloon for the tail. We're going to finish off at the end. All right. And then I'm also going to be using a pink scrap for his little nose. And then of course, a red heart. You can change up the colors, but the six inch hearts that he'll be holding on to to make this a Valentine's skunk. So I'm going to start off with the black 260 and we're going to start with his little snout. Don't make it too big. Skunks don't really have big long noses or anything like that. So I'm just going to do small little one inch bubble here. Another one the same size right beside it. And we're going to take the knot of our nozzle and wrap that around our twist there and pull it through both those bubbles to lock them in. Okay, so we've got our two little bubbles there. Now we're going to go up towards the ears. So we're going to do short little, maybe two, two and a half inch bubbles, a small loop. They don't really have the biggest ears, right? So just a small loop there and then squeeze your balloon out as you're working. Do another loop the same size and then we're going to come back down and meet down into the snout. Okay, so it's kind of is starting off a lot like my house cat tutorial, which you can check over here. It's very similar, but skunks and cats are kind of similar anyway, right? So next we're going to work on his body. I'll be using a cutie patootie body for this guy. Uh, so we're going to come down about three to four inches, do a little loop, secure that loop by wrapping it around your balloon a couple times. All right, a small spacer bubble, just a you know nice round little ball there. Another loop, same size as this one. Secure your loop by wrapping it around a couple of times. And then whatever we have left, we're going to come up and back into the head here. And you can probably, what I'll do is cut off the very tip of this balloon. Let some air out so I just have what I need to match this bubble right here. And then I can just take that tip of that uninflated balloon and wrap it into the head all around the face to secure that up there. All right, so you should have something like this. Looks nothing like a skunk at this point, and that is okay. We are going to go straight into uh, the white balloon. So I like to attach the white in the back of the head just because I want his face to look nice and full, and sometimes this the beginning of the balloon will kind of taper off, and that'll give him more of a mean look with like the angle coming down like this. So I'm going to start off the white in the back of the head. So just tie it in there. All right. And now we are going to need a pinch twist here in the back of the head. So you can go ahead and put that in now. So just a small white bubble and twist that around itself to make a pinch twist. And then you want the rest of your balloon going up towards the top of the head. When you get up to the top of the head, we're going to measure this and then twist it off once you get to the top. All right, and then we're going to do a pinch twist next. So just a small round bubble. There we go. Fold that over and make it a pinch twist. And then we're going to do a small little loop. The skunk is going to have a little loop of white hair on top of his head, and that really just makes it super cute. So just a small loop. It's about the same size as his ears. It's not going to look like a third ear, so don't worry. <laughs> and we're taking all of this up over and through the middle of his ears. So you can kind of see the skunk face starting to come together now once we get that. All right, we're gonna bring the white back down the front of the face into his little snout. So wrap it around there. Okay, so this is his cute little skunk face. You can see it really coming together now. We're gonna take our white balloon now down the front of the body in between the two little loops for his legs. Once we get to the back here, we're going to do a little pinch twist here so that we'll have an attachment point for his tail. So I'm going to make a twist 
let this go. Do another small round bubble, make that a pinch twist. Okay, and then we're gonna take this up into the neck. So he's got like a little bear tail right now. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, so once you've finished that, you should have this in the front looking super duper cute. And then this in the back. So we've got pinch twist, pinch twist, pinch twist. All right, and this is makes the attachment point for our tail. Now, if you're really good, you can cut off this and use this for the white part of his tail, or you can use the end of another scrap white balloon and use this for the end of his tail. So I'm going to try to use what I've got here. So I'm going to push my balloon out and then let's see, we'll break it off right about here. And I'm going to just take the tail of this and wrap it around this little pinch twist here in the back. So just make sure we get it in there nice and good so it doesn't come off. All right, so we only needed to use one white balloon for all of this, um, but we do probably need to add in a, another black 260 to finish the tail with. So I just made a little loop for how big I want the tail to be. I've made sure this is nice and soft so I can give it a little bend, a little shape to make it have that uh, curvy kind of skunk tail look. I'm just going to slide this up over my pinch twist, okay, and I'm going to just kind of fold it and play with the shape of it a bit, squeezing it. All right, so we've got a little fold like that. And then what we're just gonna do is take our white balloon and we're just gonna kind of tuck it up in the middle of the tail like that. So it's not super secure like that, obviously. Um, what you can do is if you wanna get like a glue dot and glue dot the top of his tail so that it's touching the black balloon and it's um, held together better, you can do that. Um, but I find if you have the bottom of the white below the black balloons and then you bring the uh, top of the white up above the black balloons, then it kind of stays pretty well. Okay, so kind of gives you that skunk look without having to glue things together too much. All right, you can also give this white balloon some shape. I'm gonna pull on it a little bit, give it a little curve to match the black balloon shape. Squeeze those guys together a little bit, and then voila, there you have his little skunk tail sticking out behind him, super cute. Now, as you know, uh, I just really have a hard time seeing my animals until the nose is on. For some reason, the nose just completes everything. This guy doesn't have a nose, so you might not be seeing a skunk right now. <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab a pink 260. You can use a scrap if you've got a bunch of scraps handy. And you're only going to need enough air in here for one small little bubble for his nose. Don't make it too big. Just a nice small bubble. Double knot that. And then I'm going to cut off this longer part of the balloon so I can save that for more noses in the future. And we're just going to attach this. Look, now that finishes it. <laughs> One little bubble just makes such a difference. Okay, we're going to pull that down through his snout. And then I'm just going to take the pink tail back behind the head to lock it in place there. And that is our super cute little skunk. Now, we're gonna make this a Valentine skunk, so all you have to do is grab a six inch heart. I like the red with the black and white, kind of is a nice contrast, um, but there's pink hearts, purple hearts, all kinds of colored hearts. So I'm gonna just fully inflate this heart, and I've chosen to attach it down here at the loop on uh, one side of his body, so I'm just going to twist it around that loop, and I found that's a pretty good spot to attach it. You can write some a little message on there or whatever you want to do. Um, try to, if you can, try to get it out into the middle of that loop, and then it'll stand up a little bit straighter instead of being kind of cockeyed off to the side. So. There you go. And then you could write a message on the heart. I think there are prints now that also have little love messages printed on the heart. Save you some time there. And then for the eyes, uh, we're gonna just draw both eyes on the white part of his face. So you don't have to try to draw the eyes and the white paint pens on the black balloons. Uh, we don't wanna do that. So there he is with his eyes and all finished, ready to make somebody's day. You can see I kept it really simple, just big ovals with some eyebrows and then uh, little white paint pen dots to make the eyes look a little bit more alive. 
and that's all you have to do. Um, now you could dress this up, you could give them a little red bow tie, you could do a bow up in the hair if it's a girl, so all kinds of different ways that you could make this even cuter. This would be great on top of candy cups or even a headband, um, but it's also a nice little tabletop. It'll sit up on its own just fine. So it's a great one for restaurant work as well. I love things in restaurants that can sit on the table and watch your guest while they're eating their food. It's just a nice thing for them to look at. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you did like it, an easy way to let me know that is to give this video a thumbs up. Helps me out a lot here on YouTube as well. And if you like what you saw here today and you want to see more balloon tutorials like this, make sure that you're subscribed. We put out new videos every single Tuesday free balloon animal tutorials um, so you want to make sure you're subscribed and ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video come out for you we do have clip art available for this guy so head on over to the website to go grab that you can add it to your balloon twisting menus and be ready for Valentine's Day well ahead of time this year so you're not scrambling at the last minute this time I know how that is I've been there many times before we don't have to do that this year you guys can be prepared with some cute Valentine's stuff now and if you're looking for more Valentine's tutorials check out some of these other videos we have available for you i'll see you over there until next time happy twisting everyone bye bye